when you was in cat with. You talking about this is 92 now, right? You was in cat 92, right?
was like, oh man, you been had niggas under the channel five, came up on K pop, skate list all this time, and he's a fucking punk, and he's been drinking your shit. Uh -huh. yeah, but anyway, yeah, the, the cat, the cat was something else, man. The cat was something else. You could have go to that kid black rap mm -hmm. if you was a bitch with no army jacket on, no chuckers, no nothing. Mm -hmm. That's real rap. Like it, like there was robberies going on in that center yard during the kid black during any any time going up there. You don't get caught in the southeast sandbox on with no army jacket and no boots on. Mm -hmm. You was out of here if you was a punk. Yep. The cat was crazy, B. Yeah, it was, it was, it was wild. And my pig was in the building. Shit. <laughs> pig from 183 was in the building. Well, fucking retarded ass nigga, man. Mm -hmm. Running around with, with, the, with the black and gray flag, HBO, all of the Bronx only. A word? That a crew called all the Bronx HBO in there? Yeah, of course, of course, that's, that's a fact, that's a fact, there was a Brooklyn Bronx shit going on at that time. Mm. There was some Brooklyn Bronx shit going on, man. Yeah. You know, they always tell the one side of the story, I just laugh, I don't say much. Mm -hmm. I got a Brooklyn dude that'll get on here and, 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 and tell you everything I say is a fact, but I ain't going to go through all of that. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's official, man. Uh -huh. And after the cat, where you went at? You went in the box? After the cat, you was in the box or you went to Attica? Nah, so after, so, so, so Boogaloo let his untimely demise mm -hmm. and they took all of the long term key blocks and all of the dudes that was causing the problem and they took us all and they took us to Southport. And Southport had just opened up to be this great big box. So all the old time dudes that had been in jail 15, 20 years at the time was all in the box. And this is before the one man cages, like the port that me and you was in at later times. Uh -huh. It's in no way it's the port, man. Yeah, I heard. The port used to have six man cages. Right? Uh huh. And you get in that cage, right? And motherfuckers that have a kung fu fight in there. Stabbing each other, going gun to gun with the, with the chains and the handcuffs on. Mm. Right? Like, like the move used to be, and I'm only telling it now because this shit is different and you could never do it again, right? Mm -hmm. So the six man cages, right, depending on where you was at in this group of people, as you had drama with a dude that was in the pen, right? Mm -hmm. So what used to happen, if my memory serves me correctly, you would all get into the pen, right, with your chains on, right? And the last dude in the pen is the first dude to get his waist chain off. You didn't get your handcuffs taken off. You just got your waist chain taken off, right? Mm -hmm. So now you set it up where your baby is in the cage with your man, right? Mm -hmm. Or somebody that's going to back your plate, right? Mm -hmm. So if you the last one, in the cage, you're the first one to get your chains taken off your waist. So when you come and get in the cage, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the police will put you in the cage, you turn around, then you then take your waist chain off, right? Mm -hmm. So when you take when you get your waist chain taken off and you now your handcuffs is just on your arm, your men uh, grab the other dude's waist chain and hold him so that he can't move because your arms is free enough if you got a ratchet you can eat his food if you got a banger you can stab him or you can just hit him up try this motherfucker had a hundred times with the handcuff thing mm -hmm. right so that's how the port was at one time and then so many motherfucking kung fu flicks and people getting pulled and jumped and stomped out they changed the shit and, and made the single 
cages. Yeah, they've got about 200 of them joints, right? About how many cages you think you got out there? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's 21, it's 21 cells on each company. And I believe three companies come out at a Four companies come out at a time. I don't, the bottom floor. So you know when you on the bottom floor, the whole bottom floor come up. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. So that's four rows. Because you went back to somebody, you know, on one side, and then it's two sets of cages all the way down. I don't, I, I don't remember. But it's a lot of cages. I think yeah. enough for, for all four companies, for whoever wanted to come outside, if they outside at the same time. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, but man. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I, I was in there for like, uh, I, I want to say like a year, and then I went to Auburn, wound up going to, to the board and getting released because my time wound up running up. Remember, I had been in jail since 86. Mm. All I had was a two to six. I wound up doing all of that. Mm. Word, that's crazy, B. And you was you was bidding when it was real. Before a lot of the changes. I mean, it was it was rough. It was a, it was a learning experience. I uh, I appreciate the losses, the lessons. Uh, all of my dear wild friends, like I, and I genuinely say that shit ain't no funny shit. Like, like, like these guys that I name are my friends' friends. Like, we snacks. <laughs> you mm-hmm. understand pictures, motherfucking visit food. Mm-hmm. You know what it is for for a motherfucker to get a visit. We ain't get no visit, right? Your dad get a visit, right? His mom's they cook food, and she know you in the building, and she make food for you. Mm. She make food for you. I remember one time my man Joe Allen from Brownsville, moms brought him food and brought him food for me because I didn't eat pork. Mm. Deep. Like, yo, your my mom's fried chicken for you, right? This and is spark for the heart of uh, uh, nah, Yeah, why? Valley. Okay. It's Harlem Valley. Like, 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 like. Get a visit, right? This has happened. This is no bullshit. Our town, Mo Dog, James Breedland, like we all was in the same house, right? Mm-hmm. Go down on a visit, you got cooked food. They take too long to bring the food back. We start some shit. They gonna punch the council in the face. They go, where's our fucking food at? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready to go get the food, we're gonna get the food. Where the fuck's the food niggas be breaking? Cause they've been waiting all week for their moms to come up on that visit to bring that food. You said dudes will punch the counselor in the face. Listen, man, like, one of these days, one of these days, we gonna sit down, right? And I've been, I've been telling you, yeah, man. My man James bringing us the other month. They've had several fights with Dwayne Johnson, man. The counselor, man. That's a fact. Locked, dry, grilling, fighting the counselors, grown ass men, body writing them, fighting them. The niggas coming to your cell, opening your door, mow dog too, fighting the counselors on the company, man. You ever got into a fight with any counselors? They, they were, but that's when we got into that shit, but I never, I never, I never got into a, a, a one-on-one fight, no. I don't do no fucking no. They they fucked us up before. I've we fought the counselors before. I've been in shit where we refused to do something like in the school building. We had a riot, and you know when they came to, they fucked us up. We fought that. But me and the counselor one on one. Well, most of this guy like uh, to the point where yeah, part two coming soon. Cat. DFY.